What's up everybody, in today's video we're going to take a closer look at this right here. It's a Star Wars Black Series Credit Collection Car Dune from The Mandalorian. Check it out! What's up everybody and welcome back to Pop Empire. We are happy to see you and like I said we're going to talk about... No, Babu Frick, your video comes out on Sunday. <laughs> Babu Frick is insane. Anyways, like I said, we're going to talk about this right here. Again, this is the new Hasbro and Star Wars Black Series credit collection from the show The Mandalorian. We got here Cara Dune. We got a couple of them. We got very fortunate in getting these uh, just yesterday, actually, at Target. Went in, they actually had a whole case. There was only two left. And they actually had them stored in back. They had actually not even put them out on the floor, which is interesting. And people were coming in and asking for them. So we were very fortunate to get the last two of that store anyway. And uh, we also found some other treats there as well that you'll see those soon enough. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and get into this figure. And now I'm gonna do this a little bit different. Normally we just kind of jump ahead and kind of quickly go through the unboxing and just get to the figure. But today we're gonna do something a little bit different. And what I'm gonna do is since I'm a person that likes to open their figures, of course I just wanna kind of rip this open and whatever, but the cards on these are so beautiful. I love the artwork on them. The figures look fantastic displayed in them. So I'm gonna do something a little bit different today. And some of you may already do this, but if not, maybe this is something you can start doing to preserve your cards and the bubbles. So if you wanna put them back in and and display them then you can still do that even though you want to take them out and play with them maybe or maybe you want to display them differently who knows so we're gonna try something a little bit different and I'm gonna take you through that step by step so first I want to show you basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a box cutter and I'm gonna make a slit here in the bottom of the bubble right here on this side and here on the other side now what's great on the back of these cards now also look at that beautiful artwork beautiful but if you look down here there's actually this little flap of plastic that they have bent over the back of the bubble and it's just taped down so what you can do is you can actually just make a slice along the top of it and it just pops right open no big deal and then what's great about that is on, down here on the bottom the plastic is actually not attached to the card right there it's attached all the way around on the other sides around those edges and everything even on this side all that's attached but down here it's not so basically what you can do make like I said these slits down here on the side leave it attached here at the bottom and then what you can do is just take this flap open it up and slide it right out the bottom and then theoretically you know you should be able to take it out and do whatever you want to do with it and and then hopefully you'll be able to just slide it right back in if you want to put it back up on your shelf like this. Yeah, so let's see how it works. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a box cutter. We're gonna make some incisions here. And actually this is very sharp, it just kind of goes through like butter. So careful, hopefully I don't lose a finger. There's that. And I think we're good to go. I'd already undid the flap on the back. So now, so now if you look underneath, it's actually not as clean as I had wanted it to be. However, it's still gonna be fine because see here's Here's the figure there, and you're not gonna notice on the bottom that there's these slits here. You can just take a little bit of scotch tape, go ahead and tape those up, and nobody will know. But there we go. We just slide it open like so, and then you can take your figure, put your finger in there. Now it's a little bit harder with these because of the way that the credit sits in there. This side's actually up higher than the point that it comes out, so it's probably gonna squish down a little bit, but that's okay. We just pull, and there we go. Well, like uh, like uh, the credits coming out there. We'll take a look at that in just a second. Yeah, like I said, just slides on out like that. And there we go, you got your figure, you got your card still basically intact. And we'll get into putting that back in the card in a little bit. All right, so now we're just gonna go ahead and skip ahead and we're gonna get the figure out of the rest of this little bubble. All right, and there's our figure. And let's go ahead and take a closer look. And there we go, this figure is absolutely gorgeous. And I love, you know, this credit collection, of course, as some of you may know, maybe some of you don't. It's actually modeled after the artwork that they used during the credits of the show, The Mandalorian. You know, the kind of painting artwork, kind of like, uh, you know, just like the artwork there on the card. Kind of get that feel there that she's been painted. And then the figure itself just looks absolutely fantastic. The face sculpt is amazing. Looks very much like Gina Carano, of course, when he plays Card Dune. It looks awesome. It's fantastic. Of course, it has the regular articulation. We won't get too deep into that. Uh, you got the elbow, the shoulder, the hands move, the knees, the feet, all that good stuff. All the normals. But you also have this holster. It's actually like a nice flexible rubber. So it looks like you could even probably take that off if you really wanted to. But again, just getting closer into the detail on these, and that's really where it's at on the credit collection figures is is the way that if you look at her hair and the way they added the red there, or like the blue on the side now, obviously her hair is not that color in the show, but if you look at the paintings, that's kind of how it looks. Just like different brush strokes and things like that, as well as on her armor in the front, you got the extra orange going on there. 
Got her tattoo over here. Incinerator Trooper tattoo going on there on the side, so that's pretty cool. I don't think we're gonna get close enough to see it, but then of course, you know, she's got that rebel tattoo there under her eye, which is awesome. And also just wanted to point out some of these details that she has in her clothes. It's pretty crazy. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this close enough to see, but the level of detail on this figure is really something else. There's this little pattern on her pants, as well as the front piece of her armor there, as well as on the back right here. It's crazy. It just makes it look like it would be really flexible. Flexible. So I don't know, super cool. That detail is really, really tremendous. So yeah, this is again, beautiful figure. I'm happy that I was able to find a way to go ahead and take it out and I can put it back in the bubble if I want to, but let's go ahead and take a look at some of the accessories. Yeah, so first just getting into her blaster rifle here. We did notice that the strap actually is not attached to the rifle. I noticed mine is like this as well. However, there is like a little slit like cut in the uh, plastic and you can just kind of slide that on wherever you would like. So that way she can wear it over her shoulder. And then we also have the tiniest of daggers here. Nice uh, just little knife there that I'm I'm sure she has a spot to store it and we'll look at that in just a moment and we also have this really tiny blaster pistol of course she does have a holster that you can put that in but don't want to lose that and then here's the credit that comes along with the car dune i'm not sure if the arabesque on the side is different for the other credits however this one if you turn it sideways like that you got your arabesque word here we looked it up and it's actually r-o-w-e for row not really sure what that is so if any of you happen to know what row means as far as the credit goes and why it would say that on here in arabesque uh, please let us know down in the comments that'd be fantastic we'd love to know if that's some sort of easter egg or you know what it is so i don't know pretty cool but again this is what you get, it's just plastic. This is what the back looks like, just kind of blank there. Still pretty cool, it has that metallic feel to it. And yeah, just cool little piece there. And then now I just wanted to show you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and grab her blaster here. And here's her holster. It actually looks like it snaps. So we'll go ahead and pop that open. Just this little piece here that goes over the top and just kind of snaps in place there. But we'll go ahead and uh, put her blaster down in there. And there we go, blaster's in there and you just put this piece back over the front there and just kind of pops back in place. But I wanted to show you guys, she of course has this little dinky tiny dagger and of course there's nothing, there's no like sheath or anything on her. But what's interesting, and I'm sure it's like this on the other Black Series car Dune as well, but if you look down in the boot here, there's actually just a little slot right there in the side of her boot and you take that and it just slides on in like that, just like so. And there it is. Then you have her dagger just uh, right there in her boot. Pretty cool. So yeah, this is awesome. So now what we're going to do, now I'm going to show you guys me putting it back on the card and let's see how that looks. So now if you're going to do it this way, be careful with this bubble that you slide out so that way everything goes back in accordingly. It doesn't look too gnarly when you actually put it back in there if you want to display it that way. So yeah, I mean, it mostly just kind of molds back into place, so it's actually not too bad. This is going to be the interesting part, though. Just like I told you guys before, there's a portion here that's a little bit taller. Again, if you look here where the credit slides in, it's a little bit lower down here on this side, and it goes higher, so it would have to kind of scoop underneath. So it's interesting. Let's see how we can do that. Because then if you see here, the credit actually just sits right there. Like, it doesn't snap into place or anything. It just sits on top of that. So we'll go ahead and put the credit in there. We'll go ahead and slide this back in, and there we go, and just push it right back in. Now, see, that's where we have the issue. See, now we have this, it's higher than this portion here, so it's gotta like go under it. But I think I have a solution. I think it's something you kind of just have to force underneath, but I think if you take something long, like maybe a pair of scissors, which I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna go underneath here, go down, and I'm just gonna pop it back into place. And so I'm gonna put the scissors under here, and it will go all the way down to the end here, and it's just kind of going under, and there it goes under a little bit. I just gotta slide in there a little bit more. There we go. And that's like that, it made it back inside there. Not too shabby, doesn't look bad at all. And then here's the bottom, again, it's open like this. You can just close it down like that. And like I said, eventually you can just get like some scotch tape or something, tape up the sides there. And again, you have this flap here on the back, you can just tape it back to the back. But then you turn it up like that, and there you go. It's back in there, no worse for wear. You can, like I said, tape it up and put it on your shelf and display it like this. You can still open it and put it back, pretty cool. And for those of you that didn't know, we are doing a giveaway. We're giving away the Mandalorian Mission Fleet set right here with the Mandalorian. Those with the speeder bus like Baby Yoda, the Baby Yoda pod, all that good stuff. Once we hit 250 subscribers, we'll be giving this away. So watch this video right up here, or the video will also be linked down in the description, as well as the link for the review and unboxing of this that we did, as well as the other Mission Fleet things that we've opened, other Mandalorian stuff, all that good stuff. So yeah, go check it out. Watch a video that YouTube suggests for you. Click that video over there to your left. Watch our last video. It's going to be right there to the right. We'd also love it if you'd subscribe. And to do that, click that link up above our heads right there. That would be fantastic. We'll see you on the next video. Peace, everybody. See ya.